I, unfortunately, I'm trying. I'm trying to disagree. The likeness here is that both of them did not have a father. This is the likeness that God. Human answer. The God bra- bro- uh, give a breath in Adam himself, right? And he did in Jesus as well. How long did it take? How long did it take this is, to create? This is the Quranic perspective. Are you asking me? How long did it take Jesus to create? So when it says, so when it says, "Wana fakhsu fi him," Jesus has the breath of life. So when you say it doesn't, you have to know what it does, whether it does or it doesn't. No, no, you have to know what it does. It say, what does it say in English? If you read the English translation, it would say the same. That Allah breathed His. In both of them, his spirit. He his spirit. He's not his direct, he's not his, direct not his, not his direct spirit. Did he breathe his spirit into any other prophet? Not his, not his direct spirit. His root, his spirit, he sent a table spirit, and breathed in Mary. A spirit, a spirit, a spirit that is Don't created lie. by him. But I'm saying, any I'm not talking to you. You are, but you just spoke to me. Sorry? You just spoke to me. Bro. I know, I'm, any, I am. You just spoke to me. Did Allah breathe his spirit into any other prophet? Adam. Only Jesus. No, I'm talking about the, the monomorphism, not the creation. And rose up again in the third day. When it mentions them, they say that he breathed on the No, no. But no other prophet spread the sea as other than Moses. No other prophet had an ark other than Noah. You having something unique as a miraculous thing that God gave you does not mean that you're better than everyone else. I'm talking about how he was, from, from when he was made, every, it was all what he said. It doesn't mention any sin of Jesus in all these sites. It doesn't mention any sin of John the Baptist in the Bible or in the Quran. Oh, you won't go to Muhammad. So not mentioning, not mentioning, not mentioning, not mentioning, not mentioning something doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Right? If I don't mention something, it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Do you agree with me? So if, you, if you take the standard that is not mentioned, you have to agree that Don Devatis was not, was not sinner as well. Elias was not sinner. All, I can give you now five prophets that are mentioned without sins in the Quran. Yeah, for your past and future right? sin. That is the Christian perspective. Now. I respect what you believe. I respect what you believe. End of discussion. But it's not what I believe. Misunderstanding. There's a difference between being righteous and being sinless. Someone can be righteous and live their life the right way the whole time, but they're still sinners. What, what did we begin our conversation with? We begun that sin is to break the law. That's why I brought you the example of Zachariah and the mother and and, and father of John the Baptist. Both That's of them walked through all commandments. You can open the Bible and read. Both of them were sinless from that perspective. They did not break God's commandment. They died the blameless. The Bible says blameless. So we, we don't... No, no, no. The part where it says it's sinless that they walked in all commandments, they did not break any. That is the part that, that I'm mentioning that I'm saying they're not sinless, right? So someone being born in a righteous life does not mean... We don't believe, by the way, that babies are born sinners. We don't believe anyone is born is born sinner. You have the capacity to sin, but you're not sinner already before you sin. Let me sin first, then call me a sinner. Call me a thief after I steal. You cannot call me a thief before me stealing, right? So we say that a person is a sinner when he commits the sin. Yes, okay, you're a sinner now. But God accepts repentance from people. God is a merciful God. Everyone commits sin, right? Yes. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? Preordain Adam sin. What do you What do you mean by that? Yeah, but but is that similar in Christianity? You know the knowledge of everything. Knowing knowing the knowledge of something does not mean you're forcing something on someone, right? In Christianity, in Christianity and Islam and Islam, God knows God knows everything that is happening. Is that happening? That is happening and is about to happen. God knows everything. It doesn't mean that God is forcing someone. If I have you, if I have you students, can I give you an example? Can I give you an example? Can I give you? Can I give you? Lie after lie after lie. No, no, no. Here we write sin. It doesn't say that. Where does it say that? Where does it say that? Can you can you provide me the reference? Where does it say pray it sin? I know my Quran. Show me. Why do you call me a liar? Why do you call me a liar? Why do you call me a liar? Why do you call you say preordained sin, correct? Find me one verse that says the Quran, Allah preordained sin. And then I will agree I'm wrong. This is the thing. Muslims want to subjugate you and control you because we are kufar. They want us to be they want us to behave like nice little dimmies. Yeah? Kufar nedges. Yeah? 
They don't want us to talk about the Quran. I'm willing to Trust debate me, this man. Not there, about a the nice, sensible debate. But he won't look me in the eye. He won't even call me a liar by the way I'm exposing this prophet. And he wants to come and tell me to debate. Not in this life, bro. Not in this life. Come out of Islam, Muslim. Come out of Islam. It's not there, by the way. Come to Jesus Christ. No, no. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? All I can do is laugh in the background. I, I memorize my book. No, but there's a verse that says every, everything comes from Allah. Am I not saying sin, but everything means sin as well, right? Everything comes from Allah means that every creation is created by Allah. The Quran says Allah, Allah, Khaliqu, Kulli Shay. Allah is the creator of everything, right? So Allah. Allah creates everything. That is a well-known fact. Any God creates everything. If God of Christianity doesn't create everything, then He's not, he's not all-powerful. Who created the other creation then? Right? So we believe that God creates everything. But God does not compulsory make you... The second one is coming now. God does not compulsory, compulsory make you do action. So God is not forcing you to be this or to be that. And you would agree with the same. But He knows. He knows what you're going to do, what you're not going to do. Otherwise, He's not all-knowing. But can when, idol when, when can idol create any Adam, anything? When, sorry. When Moses spoke to Adam about being cast out of paradise, sure. He says, if Allah wrote it for me forty years before I was created. Yeah, he doesn't mean that Allah forced you to do it. Everything is written by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Doesn't mean that Allah is forcing anyone to do anything, right? So, look, I can, I'll give you an example. If I have you, if I'm a teacher and I have few children in front of me in the class, right? I know that this is a good student. I know that this is a bad student. This one, in the end of the year, is going to pass. He's going to be the first. This one is going to fail, correct? So I know that he's going to pass. I didn't make him study or not study, okay? This is the knowledge part. The second part I wrote, Adam is going to be the first. Moses is going to be the last. So, so I wrote what I know doesn't Allah mean that I forced Adam, Adam or Moses to do anything. So you understand? So Allah writing something does not mean I'm compulsorily. Yeah? Doesn't mean. Doesn't mean. Doesn't mean I'm compulsorily. You don't believe in free will. I, I believe yes, in his God. So, so, so does, Allah has not. Does God, God know Adam everything in Christianity? God wills for us. Does God? So does God know? Listen carefully. Sure. Allah has not given you. He not let you speak. He doesn't expect you. He wants to let you speak. It's not me speaking. God gives, so us, God gives us free will, right? Sure. And His will yeah. is for us to do good. That's right. And it's our choice whether yeah. we do good or not. We're that's not forced. Right. Thank that's you right. very much. That's, that's, what, that's what we believe. That's free will. It's not written. God hasn't written for us to do a specific thing. That's right. He's willed for us. God to has good. written. God has written what you will do. He did not written something so you do it, but He written what you will do in the future. You understand the difference between the two? Because you're gonna do. This is what we believe as Muslims. You're asking me about the Islamic perspective, yeah. obviously. So I'm answering you from the Islamic perspective. So having knowledge of something and writing it is the same. You should not Rather than this. having the knowledge in my head, don't do this. It's written in my head already. You but no, I write this. it. Tell me how it's different, please. Different. Okay. So God of Christ. Uh, let's let's look at, at at a different point of view. The God of Christianity knows everything. He's all known. Doesn't mean he knows that you're gonna go steal and you're gonna go do this. You're gonna do. Doesn't mean that he forced you to do this. Thank you. This is our perspective. So why why are you straw manning so our why, argument? So why did Adam and Moses have an argument then about why he was cast down? And Moses even was, said at the end of it that he was happy with the argument because Sorry? Adam made a good point. No, the sin, actually, the, sin was, was that the narration, the Prophet already. Muhammad is the one who speaks in the end of the narration. Okay. But the point is that they were arguing with each other, right? Mm -hmm. We say as Muslims that what is written is not compulsory for uh, making someone do something or not do something. Or otherwise, they will not be accountability. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says he is account you're accountable Adam for what you do. This sin for what you do. In my so, faith. Sorry. In my faith. You've just said that. She's telling you, somebody, sorry. Somebody is accountable for what they do. Sorry? You said that whoever does something, they're accountable for what they do, right? But that's exactly Whoever that's chooses to do something, by choice he does something. Yes. He's accountable for it. Okay. So, so, can I, can I be honest with you? No, 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 but just carrying on from that. When Moses says to Adam, it's your fault that we were cast out of paradise. So there is no Adam, choice. Adam then said, yeah. but it was written for me before I was even yeah. created. In my faith. So in my faith. Is he accountable personally? Years or is it because it, it was willed for him to do that by God? He is accountable personally. By his also written. He had the choice. You can't have both. You can't have both. No, you if you have if you chose something, if you chose something, yeah. and then and then you did it, and it was written, you did not know, you did not know what was written and what was not written. Doesn't mean that it's influence of your choice. I can write something. Let me explain it this way. I can write something, right, in a descriptive way, 
and I can write something in an imperative way. We believe that Allah writing in a descriptive way. What you will do, because you will do it, Allah wrote it. Not because Allah wrote it, you will do it. So you're confusing both of these two. Uh, no, I'm confusing. Let's say I'm confusing. No problem. No problem. Now let's, now let's, now let's have, let's have a sensible discussion, right? We take, we take our religion. But are you, are you asking me questions, sister? Are you asking me questions? No, I'm not asking you something. Did you ask me about, did you ask me about... If I kick, if I kick somebody, I'm accountable for it, right? Because I chose to kick somebody. Okay. Or did, or did God write down that I was going to do that? Did God know that? If God writes something, yes, he knows, but he didn't okay. will it. That's the difference. Is it, is it in his God mind? Is it in God mind? Is it, is it in in God's mind. Is it in God's mind? Is it is it is it in God's mind? That's the power of choice you have. He knows everything. He's is it in his mind? Okay. He knows what sure. I'm going to sure. do, what sure. I've done already. Sure. My point my point that I'm making to you is you're saying that he was held accountable, but yeah. it was also pre written for him. Yeah. If something's pre written for somebody, that basically means they're destined to do yeah. it. Did I give you an example? Did I, did I give you did I give you an example, sister? Or did I, I didn't give you an example? You did so okay. you are making no, no, I said, I said if I have, I said if I have two students, I know who's going to be the first, I know who's going to be the last. This is the knowledge part that you agree with so far. I also wrote what I know. It doesn't mean I need that student to fail or pass. You are trying, you are trying to say that you did. No, I'm a teacher. I know what he's going to do already. I just wrote this person is going to be the first. This person is going to you, sister. Look, I be honest with you. I think you're standing on the point, even though you understand the point. Let's move to something that is that matters. No, we're talking about free will. Uh, free will. Let's, we didn't never never begun talking about free will. You said you want to ask me. You said you want to ask me. You said you want to ask me about Islam, right? You said you want to ask me about Islam, right? Well, I'm not, I give two, two, three, four answers, but you're not listening to me. No, but you're going around in circles and literally okay. giving sure. two okay. very contradictory okay. answers in sure. one. You did it with Jesus, now okay. you've done it yeah. again with the, yeah. with the free will thought. Okay. You're entitled, you're entitled to your opinion completely. You're That's entitled. What doing. You're entitled to your opinion. Okay. Okay, if that teacher wrote these two names, did he force the child to be the first and the last? Okay, if I hit him in the no, head... Can you answer my question now? Can you? No, but you, you're doing Look, to me... You are using your example. I'm giving you an example where it explains, but you don't want to accept it. It's not that you don't understand it, you don't want to accept it. Well, nothing to do with accepting it. Okay. I, I understand what you're saying, but that's not about what we talk about. Can you answer my question there? Did the teacher force the child to be the first or the last? Did he, did he force it? But it was written before he does it. So writing something does not mean I'm forcing someone to do something. Now, moving on from that point, I already answered. I didn't say the teacher is God. I didn't say the teacher is God. No. Why? Why am I using that as an example? I have no idea yeah. why you're using I'm using that. We're talking yeah. about Adam, Moses, paradise, free will, God. Because, yeah. because, we're about teachers okay. and students. because it's the similar example where you have, I let you finish, but you don't let me finish now, right? It's a similar example from the knowledge and written part. I'm just giving you an analogy. I never said the teacher is God. The student is the prophet. You don't need Look, when we're talking about if I'm trying to explain something, if I'm trying to, to explain something to a child and he doesn't understand, I have to give him an analogy. I'm a child. Uh, I don't know personally. I've been explaining it three or four times now. And I've heard you each time, but I'm saying now, how does that apply to what we're talking about? The teacher didn't force, the teacher wrote what the child is going to do, he didn't force him. God wrote what the prophet was going to do, he didn't force him. Similarly, it's a sim very simple way to understand. But now, talking about, talking about knowledge, talking about knowledge, talking about, talking about knowledge, how can you, how can you believe someone is God and he doesn't know the last hour? How can you believe Jesus is God? Now you don't want to deal with this point. You don't, you don't want to deal with this point. Jumping each time. Sure. I'm talking about how do you believe? How do you believe he's God? How can, is Jesus all knowing? Is Jesus all is Jesus all knowing or not? He's not all knowing. He's not all knowing. You said no. He didn't know that. Yeah, and I answered that question, but you're sticking to the point. So let's move on to a point where we both were. I give you the answers, entitled to you to accept no, it or reject it. And also, sure, there are viewers here who all have intellect yeah. and who all have mind, right? Yeah. I give you the answer, you're not satisfied with it. Someone, an 
someone who is a rational person will accept the answer. So that's entitled. You're entitled to your opinion. You can't accept or reject my answer. That's up to you. There was no answer to accept or reject. Relax, 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 relax. I'm relax. fine. I think, then he is a hopefully dictator. you're fine. Allah is a dictator according to you. Hopefully you're fine. Okay, I believe I gave you an answer. It's my opinion. So you're Allah is a dictator. And I'm entitled to my opinion as well. Now, now let's now let's move on. Now let's move on to something else. Yes, yes, Allah is a dictator here. Yeah, I'm waiting for her to finish. Okay. Do you believe? Do you believe? Do you believe? Do you believe that Jesus is all knowing? God, Jesus is God, right? Jesus is God. Jesus is God. You believe? So I'm asking you about God. Does God have all knowledge? Did Jesus? Did Jesus? Did Jesus have all knowledge? Do you agree with me that Jesus was not all knowing? When he was asking the hour in Mark 13:32, he said, "No one knows the hour." But the angels in heaven, not the Son, only the Father. So Jesus says, neither the Holy Spirit, nor Him, nor the hour, because only the Father knows the hour. How can you believe both of them are gods if they don't know the hour? You believe Jesus is God, you're talking about God and free will and knowledge. I'm talking to you about knowledge as well. Did, 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 do you have to know something in order for you to write it down? Do you have to know something in order for you to write it down? Okay, so we're talking about knowledge. So when it comes to Jesus now, that you believe is God, how do you believe He is God, even though He doesn't know the hour? She doesn't believe him. Why you, do you, you don't believe He is God? Don't assume she believes him. Okay, you don't believe Jesus is God. So don't, don't you believe one Jesus is God? Uh, she says you do. Do you believe Jesus is God? Do you believe Jesus is God? The word became flesh. Do you believe Jesus is God? Look, sister, let me be honest with you, right? We are adults, right? We have to have answers. We have to have answers. Child not by age. Child, child is not. Child is by understanding. I never said that. I say that like mostly about it. That, that is my my point of view. Sorry. Okay. So what I'm saying is, we are all adults here. We should not. No, you're not stupid at all. I never said you're stupid. Would I would I talk to to a stupid person? No, I'm sorry if you got offended by that. It was not the, it was not the intention. It was not the intention. But I believe I give an answer. You don't agree with me. I believe I give a parable and and, and I give an example. Okay. My problem is you didn't ask. Stop telling him. He can keep what he He's not coaching me. He is. He keeps saying ignore him. Move on. Sure. I, I can, sure. I can hear it. Mansoor here is my senior. He can teach me. He can school me. He can do everything. He is. I I never. I, did I interrupt you? I let him speak until he went himself. Did I tell him to go? They've been speaking all this time, I never talked to them, right? So let's be honest with, with ourselves, right? If I believe in something, I must have the capacity to, un- to answer the questions myself. Yeah. Now, you believe in Christianity. So do you have an answer why Jesus did not have... have an answer for my question about prayer? I give you one, you're not satisfied. You give me one, if I'm not satisfied today, we can move on as well. And people can judge. Okay. Jesus, who you believe is God, how did he not know the time of the last hour? He knew. He knew in same chapter. How did he say? How did he? How did he say in Mark thirteen thirty two? He doesn't know where the hour is. Chapter, chapter he said, uh, only no. He said only the Father knows. If I say only Mansur knows, no, no, no one here knows, right? If he said only the Father knows, which one of the persons of the Trinity? How can you believe that two other persons are God as well? How do you reconcile that? How do you reconcile Jesus Christ being a dependent being when God is an independent being? How do you reconcile Jesus being a mortal being where God says he's the only immortal being? How do you reconcile that? Jesus, God humbled himself. Yes. Right? And became a man. Yes, exactly. Philippians chapter 2. Which comes back to my original point about okay. him giving us, giving us an example. So, so, when you, so when you say God became a man, and the Old Testament says in number, number 23, Numbers 23 verse 19, said that God is not a man or the son of man, yes. which one should I believe, you or God? Who, who Sin. God says he's not a man. The Jesus. Word, the word became flesh. God said he's not a, became a man. If you read Acts, flesh. 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 I'll give you this now. Acts, Acts chapter two, verse twenty-two. You can open the Bible. I'm giving you references. Uh-huh. Acts, no, chapter two, Acts chapter two, Acts chapter two, verse yeah. twenty-two says, "Jesus of Nazareth, a man uh-huh. appointed by God." That's right. Paul says there is only one mediator between God and man, the man Jesus Christ. So now, if Jesus was a man. And the Old Testament clearly says God is not a man or the son of man. Jesus says he is the son of man 88 times. How do you reconcile that? 88 times he says he is the son of man. He says he is a man as well. 
And God said he's not a man or a son of man. God is all-knowing. God is immortal. God is eternal, independent. God, God said he does not, God said he does not change his nature. I think Corinthians chapter 14 verse 35 or something. Perfect. And when he came in, in Will he still perfect? So, if you're perfect in your attributes. Perfection means that I'm perfect in knowledge. I know everything. I'm perfect, I'm perfect in power. I have ability to do everything. Was Jesus perfect in knowledge, power, independent, immortal? No. So that means he was not perfect. He was limited. God is unlimited. Jesus was limited. He was killed by his own creation. If, if that was his own creation. <laughs> he came for right? that purpose. He came, that was that was he came to suicide? Yeah. No, he, did he if, suicide? If it was my will to be killed, if it was my will to be killed, that means I'm committing suicide. But you're not addressing my point. You didn't give me a single answer. He didn't do suicide. You're, look, you asked me for... A hundred times, a hundred times, no, no, a hundred, a hundred times you asked me for an answer for something. I provided examples. I provided examples. It is an exaggeration. You're correct. I asked you for an answer to my question. You gave me an analogy for something else. Sure. Thank you. All right. You are entitled to your opinion. You can also give me an analogy to something else. How can you reconcile Jesus not having power, not having knowledge? He didn't have power. Are you sure? Was he all powerful? Oh yes. Yes. When I say did not have power, I mean God's power. You're claiming he's God. God's you power is being. Can any old man raise somebody from the dead like Jesus? Yeah, other prophets did in the Bible. Jesus is not the only person who raised people from the dead. Do you know that? And did he raise himself? He was raised by the Father, not by him, not by his own power. <laughs> so look, even even the example you're bringing is going against you, right? If you being raised by someone else. If you being raised, if you are being raised by someone else makes you God, then the people who Jesus raised are gods as well, because they've been raised by someone else. You see, you don't want to address the, the question, and you want to to go to the Islamic perspective. You, you, you want to go. Okay, at least people, 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 people are smart enough. People are smart enough to know who's answering and who's not answering. I'm asking you about about simple questions, simple questions about your own God. How can you believe? How can you believe in a God that you don't even know why, how He's God? You say God is the all-knowing, all-powerful, all just this that. Timothy 6:16 says, "The God alone is immortal. Alone is immortal." So if Jesus died by definition, he's not immortal. You cannot resurrect without dying. Then he was a mortal man. He was a man like you and me. He fell on his face and he prayed. One verse in the Bible shows that Jesus was a Muslim. Just one verse. Matthew chapter 26, verse 39. Look at what Jesus Christ was doing. You know what he did? The first thing he did, he, fe- he went to pray, he fell on his face. Do you know who prays, Do you know who prays like this? Muslims pray like this. We are so, going to be immortal. That's Matthew, what, Matthew, that's what Jesus Matthew chapter, through his life. That, uh, Matthew chapter 26, verse 39. Read it. Do you know what it says? Jesus, before the alleged crucifixion that you're talking about, he was going and he fell on his face. He prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane the whole night. You know how he prayed? He fell on his face like Muslims no. do. Do you know what he said? He said, Father, the Bible says in Matthew chapter 26, verse 39. He fell on his face. Do you know what he said? Do you know what he said when he, he prayed? In Matthew 26, he 39. He fell on his face Allah. and he said, Father, take this cup away from me. He if he was all powerful, he was God, do he, does he need to ask anyone else to take the cup away from him? Then when he prays, he says, let it be your will by not my will. This is our Islamic belief. We submit our will and surrender our will to Allah. So Jesus was a human being, a Muslim like you and me. Don't worship a man. Don't worship a man. Worship God. Worship the creator of men. Don't worship someone who couldn't save himself, let alone save you. Don't, don't, don't worship a man who couldn't save himself. He couldn't save himself, how can he save you? Don't worship, don't, don't worship God, a God who's unjust. Did Jesus deserve to die? No. So God will not kill someone who doesn't deserve to die. Worship a just God. Okay, Worship so, a loving God. Okay, so the last three minutes or so, you haven't asked me anything, so can I ask you something? No, I have asked you, but you haven't answered. Okay. If you answer my ask question... Time, okay. okay. I just want to say something. Have, I just want to say something. No, Akhi, well, just one Hold second. Hold up, sorry. man. Let me talk. Okay, talk. One day you're not going to die. No, let him talk. Huh? 
Uh, you're going to regret it when you go to your grave. Thank you very much. That's my why, question. That's why you my, need Jesus. My question that's to you, you sister. Jesus. My question that's to you is about Jesus. the knowledge. That's it's a simple question. Hey, let me talk you about need Jesus, Jesus does not have all knowledge. You need How can he be God? Jesus, Jesus the Savior. One day, yeah. you're going to regret it. You, you need Jesus as a Savior. You need Jesus as a Savior. So God became ignorant. He gave us an example to follow. Being humble means not showing off. Right? Okay, so sure. Confidence of life to give us an example of what we Knowle to Knowledge has no relationship with humbleness. Humbleness is like Luke chapter 18, verse 18, where Jesus says, Don't call me good, only God is good. Because if he goes around saying, Okay, we, on, this, on this day, on this day, this is going to happen. No, on no. This day, this Sister, day, this okay, happen. okay. You ask me uh, okay, go, okay. Ahead, go ahead, go ahead. That's I'll lay your answer. That's not humble. Okay, I agree with you yeah. completely. No, but you don't. How do you know I don't agree with you? Just, you've just said you disagree. Now, haven't even started speaking. You're saying okay, you agree I agree with the humbleness part. Go ahead. Right, so in terms of knowledge, sure. he wasn't here to, to tell like everybody to what was going to happen okay. on every given okay. day. Okay, okay. Stop saying okay because I'm not finished. Okay. Now, my question is to you. No, I, you haven't answered my question. I'm, you answered so, my question. Before, no, 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 no. I want to ask. You answered my question. I said I wasn't happy with it. You said I'm sorry. No, 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 no. no. I'm sorry you're you not don't remember my question. You don't remember my question. My question was simple. How can he be God if he's not? No, no, no. My question is this. Okay, okay. My question is this. My question is this. Look, Mark 13, 32 says, No one knows the day and the hour. Not the angels in heaven, not the sun. You have two options. Jesus is lying and being humble. Jesus is saying the truth. Which option do you... So he doesn't know. It's not for us to know. Does he know or he doesn't know? Okay, go ahead. When he came, it wasn't to tell us everything that's going to happen. That's the point. We have to learn for ourselves. It wasn't our point. It wasn't his, his purpose to come and tell us the hour. That had nothing to do. He came to give us an example of how to live. The hour at the time was irrelevant. Why did he mention it then? So his point is, no man knows. It's not up to us to know. That's his point. No so he doesn't know. So he doesn't know. I didn't say that. So he knows. God knows. Does Jesus know? That's my question. Look, you don't want to answer my question. Whether Jesus knows or he doesn't know, he's not God in, the, in two instances. You too as well. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure talking to you. I think I think this is enough, isn't it? Have this or you mind, mind in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. She's willing to. Are you still ready to go? In the form of God. Every time I try and ask something, you cut me off. Okay. You're smirking. The camera's in here. I get that. I'm not, I don't care. I'm not here for camera. I'm not here for camera. Sure. Okay. I speak to people. I don't speak at them. I don't speak over them. Okay. I can't answer the question. Okay. Not with analogies, but with the biblical or Quranic um, reference. You sure. keep using analogies sure. and steering away from the conversation. I asked you about free will. You didn't answer that. I asked you about um, Jesus. You didn't answer that. Okay. You're not answering anything that I have that any sure. question that I have, sure. you're expecting answers to your liking with sure. questions. I, I would say, I, can do I would that. say, I would say people can judge who is given references, numbers. Yeah. I would say people will judge who is not answering questions, who is not answering questions. I would say people will judge who let other people heckle and still talk to you. But I will say also you are entitled to your opinion, yeah. right? But go ahead, you said you want to ask another question, go ahead. Okay, you don't have any more questions. Okay, my pleasure talking to you. I hope I didn't offend you in any way. It was not the intention. The intention was us to have, to have, to have, to have, to have, to have. That's okay. I'm, I'm not a knowledgeable person for you to learn. So. Let me read this to invite you to Islam. Think about why you're not a Muslim. So let me let me read this passage for you. Once you become a Muslim, who you'll be saved from the hellfire. Who existing. In the form of God, Jesus. God has mentioned in the Quran. Where? Throughout the Quran, if can you, you can be, show me once, then. if you if you believe and do righteous deeds, yes, He will enter you into gardens of paradise, eternal bliss, and He will also save you from the hellfire, That's which is prepared for His various According to Islam, she, in the Quran, she is a half brain. Yeah. According to Islam, so, you are a half brain. This is our, lady. This is our humble request and invitation According to you. Islam, Islam you it's your are choice. Half brain. I mean, you had. You have. 
you cannot some, enter some discussion, into, into some discussion about to Islam. How, and how, can why? I, how can I come to something when I've been given no answer, only analogy? Yeah. I mean, it's quite clear. I mean, I haven't said anything, right? Yeah. For a reason, I want you to have a conversation between yourself. Yeah. And I haven't interjected to all the hecklers that came one by one. I mean, they came and they left. He stayed. He's quite persistent, obviously. Um, what I was trying... They, they, they do that because... Look, look, because I have no problem. There's been no questions Look, if I had a problem, I would have said something. I'm standing right here. I'm simply saying they were taking up... I don't have a loud voice. I'm not a man. They, they, were, they were trying to not... To let him deflect, because that's exactly what he keeps um, doing. Is that what you think? So, if this is what you think, I asked him a very simple question. He's a repeating and none of them um, I've heard the answers myself. Shall I repeat them to you? I know the answers. No, no. You said you did not hear him answering. I can repeat the answers to you if you want. But he didn't answer my questions. He, he spoke, but he didn't answer. Oh, he my spoke questions. the answers. No, 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 no. He spoke. That's it. He didn't he answer spoke, any questions. He spoke, but did not but answer the question. The words came but out. I heard the answers. If you want me to, I can give you the I'm answers sure what I remember. Right. So what I was saying is because we want to end this conversation, which I think personally I think it was a great conversation. Okay. Even though all these interruptions that we had, you both managed to focus on the conversation. They were vocal. You kept interrupting look, look, look. as well, whispering in his ear. I, saw I was only times, telling like, him. Do you know what I told him? Yeah. One, two, yeah. three. Do you know what yeah. I told him? Yeah. Move on. Yeah. Next yes. topic. I, 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 I told know, him. Uh, I told him. When I'm occasionally, he, he was, he was on. jumping the one, sorry, one topic and another. I've never told him. Don't answer. Look, no, microphone no, no, is very neutral. Move on. Listen, move on was, means don't answer. No, move on means all the interruptions was, uh, that is coming him. to you. You was feeding him. Ignore them. You no. was feeding him. Continue with the conversation. As soon as you said move on, he moved on. Don't use Takiya. Don't if use Takiya. If this is how you feel, my humble request yeah. is to review you, the video recorded by many people. Him. By yourself, just review individually what you perceive of the discussion that went and whether I was telling him not to answer the question. I and I was listening. Yes. When you said move on, he changed the topic to is Jesus God. That's right, God. yeah, yeah, yeah. talking about Look, free will. Yeah. I asked about Jesus in so, Islam. So, so free will, he didn't answer. I just want to know. I'm simply, I know. I'm simply saying, yeah. you can review the video yourself. Yeah. You can review it, listen to it, and analyze and say, look, okay, yep, he was wrong, I was wrong, what about, what about? you can do all of that. We were just trying to, I was, I'm only making a point here, is this. Yeah. This was a great conversation. How? For who? Regardless of all the interruptions we had. That's my point. Oh. There are many interruptions. What was great oh. about the discussion? Oh. The discussion oh. was... When somebody is not the answering, how oh, this is... The discussion a, was, a, you both continued focusing regardless no, I of... Focused, he didn't focus. <laughs> at the end of the day, yeah. he's made some points, you've made some points. Correct? No. I hope, I hope... That both what of you, you shouldn't do is whisper in a grown man's ear. What did I whisper speaking, about? You're telling him, you're coaching him. I heard no, it. What I'm did sorry. I whisper about? I heard it. The camera. What did I say? You said that exactly. camera. Every, whenever a topic was getting a bit too you, you said move on at least three right. times. I disagree with you, and if you think that this is... Yeah. I, I'm totally wrong. No, no, if you think... In your estimation, what your opinion that you're giving, yeah. I'm disagreeing with you. You can review the video and watch which point I said what... When the heckling, the video please listen, you. listen. When no, no, in the heat of the discussion yeah. and all the interruptions in your ears, all the loud voices in your ears, it is possible that you haven't fully focused on what you were saying. It's possible, yeah. So what I'm simply saying is, when you review the video, you can see what happened. Only thing I want to say is, look, at the end of the day, yeah. I hope both of you learn from each other, at least. He's not here to only teach you, I'm sure he's here to learn too. And I hope it was likewise from you that you learn from these exchanges and then you reflect on it. At the end of the day, reflect on what she has said and you reflect on what he has said. And at the end of the day, that if you can actually come better informed of each other's religion, then this is a great conversation. That's my point. So why, why are you even speaking when me and him are speaking? No, we were finishing. We were only concluding. Thank you. Me, me answering. Can I answer that question? Can I answer that question? Even what I said, you, you don't like what I said. No, I don't because you had no views. Can, can I answer that question? In Islam, the Prophet ﷺ told us, it's not from us who doesn't respect Revere our elder and he doesn't respect our younger. Revere our elder and respect our younger. I cannot speak when my elder is speaking. That's why I'm remaining silent, right? This is our, our Muslim tradition. We don't speak over each other, right? We're here when he speaks, I will let him speak. When I'm speaking, I will let you speak, right? This is our Muslim belief, right? 
It was a pleasure having a discussion with you, even though we disagreed. We can disagree, we can have a good discussion, even though we disagree. That's completely all right. And I'm happy that you're a humble person. You're not like other people who are not coming here to scream. And I hope I didn't come offensively. I didn't scream. I didn't do anything bad as well. It was my pleasure talking to both of you. Thank you very much. You too. God bless. See you. Sorry, I have too many.